Well, I am at our grocery store and I needed to get some peanut butter. So let me get some uh, good old, here, I'll, I'll grab this one. I'm, I'm kind of trying to watch out for hydrogenated fats, sugars, things like that. Um, roasted peanuts, sugar, hydrogenated vegetable oils, salt. Mm, I, it's kind of not what I'm really looking for. Oh look, this one, this is um, reduced fat. Let me see, oh my. Um, Roasted peanuts, corn syrup, solids, sugar, soy protein concentrates, salt, hydrogenated vegetable oil, mono and diglycerides. Got some minerals in there and some vitamins, but oh my goodness, I'm just trying to stay away from, you know, uh, high fructose peanut butter, high fructose corn syrup, hydrogenated fats, extra sugar. Um, okay, now this just says 100% natural. Okay, all natural. Oh, ingredients. Peanuts, 100% natural, just peanuts. Huh. So this one is just peanuts, but you know, it's natural, and so it's got like all this separated oil, so I know that underneath is gonna be kind of really hard to stir, and the top has a lot of oil on it. Good old peanut oil, but I kinda would like to have it all blended together, but I don't wanna use hydrogenated fats to keep it blended together. Tiny House Prepper. Hi everybody, I'm Bill. And I'm Elizabeth with Tiny House Prepper. You know, we have known for a long time about all the bad stuff that's in peanut butter. It's full of high, uh, partially hydrogenated oils, which is not good for you. It's full of all kinds of sugar and even high fructose corn syrup and stuff like that. So we've wanted to use natural peanut butter, but it's just such a mess to use. You got to mix all of those oils that are separated it's just a pain. So we've tried it a couple times. It's so difficult we've just stopped using it. But we really don't like using that peanut butter with all that stuff in it. So we're determined that we're going to go on this journey to figure out how to use this peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> so come on along with us on this journey. Yep. So now all I have to do is figure out how to get this peanut oil mixed in with the peanut underneath of it. Here we go. So there's the peanut oil on the top. Real juicy. <laughs> I'm going to have to mix it in. It's real hard on the bottom. Yeah, it's getting on those sides, it's all, yeah. How do you mix it all in? There's gotta be an easier way than this. So I've got big lumps here that I'm having trouble getting smoothed in and it's spilling all down around the edges. I can feel the peanut butter oil all over my hand and all over the outside of this jar here. This just And sometimes I've had them where it's, it's even more full than this and it just gushes all over the place. There's got to be a better way to get rid of these lumps and get this stirred in. have the answer. It's called a peanut butter stirrer. And here it is right here and this nifty little gadget is going to save the world for peanut butter. It comes in several different sizes. You have to make sure you get the right size for the jar that you're using and for the size of lid. It comes in several different lid sizes. Make sure you get the right one. This is really cool. Let me show you how this nifty little gadget works. Now for this one I'm going to use crunchy peanut butter which would be even harder to mix because of the peanuts in it and you can see that this has got a lot of peanut oil floating on the top. 
This would be a real mess if I tried to do this one with a knife. Okay, let's put this, yes, yeah, is a real hard, stiff coating on top here and all the loose peanuts. It's got a rubber gasket down inside there. Keep the peanut oil from coming all over the place. Screw it on tight. Now when I first start, it's really hard to turn because the peanut butter in there is really separated from the oil and the peanut is peanut butter is solid and the oil is on top. But after you start to turn it a little bit, it gets easier. You gotta hold it pretty hard, and it will take a couple minutes of stirring, but it sure is easier than using that knife. So let's take a look at it. There we go. Nice, smooth, crunchy peanut butter. That was so much easier. I'm liking this. And then this all comes apart. There's a gasket up in here to keep the oil from coming out. And then you just take it off like that, pull it out. See how it cleans the peanut butter right off of there so you don't have a mess. Then you just go and clean that. And you're done. No mess. No fuss. Natural, crunchy peanut butter ready to go. Well, looks like we figured it out. Right. Isn't that thing cool? Yeah. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty cool. It was difficult, but I must say it was a stirring experience. Oh. <laughs> people, you know, people would think I was the corny one in this relationship, but And <laughs> this right here is the key. Yeah. So this makes all the difference in the world. This will now make peanut butter accessible to the world. Y yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it comes out really nice. Oh, yeah. It's, and it's real peanut peanut butter with nothing else in it. It has such a nice, fresh, good taste. Yeah, yeah it tastes so much better. But I, I will say it's a little bit, after you mix it up, it's a little bit um, runny. Kind of softer. Softer yeah. compared to the stuff with all the hydrogenated oils in it. So we put it in the refrigerator, and that helps yeah. a lot. And but it, it, it can kind of tend to maybe drip off of the edge of your peanut butter jelly sandwich <laughs> occasionally. <laughs> Just have to watch for that. But if you let it sit in the fridge for a while, that helps a lot. It'll help solidify things. Yeah. So uh, if you're interested in getting this, we have it enlisted in our, our new Amazon store. And you can see the link down below. Go to our Amazon store and you can see this and some other things that we have reviewed there as well. And you don't have to have electricity. That's right. That's right. All you have to do have is natural peanut butter. Yep. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, thanks everybody for coming along. If you've enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe so you can get other great review product reviews that we do in the future. Yep. Bless you guys. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Goodbye.